The Kardashians and Sean P. Diddy Combs have been part of the same Hollywood circles for years. Diddy plans to expose others who knew about his behavior, starting with Kim Kardashian, who's rumored to be involved in his wild parties. Here are the worst things that have happened to Kim Kardashian. The Kardashians are linked more to Diddy than you think, as Kim Kardashian has been spotted at some of Diddy's infamous white parties. Did Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian deliberately leak her infamous tape with her former boyfriend Ray J? She's actually been through a lot, and now people are trying to say that she might be cursed. We all right? Recently, Kim is getting a lot of flack with people connecting her and her sisters to Diddy. I know you're known for the parties. When you think of a party or a good time, yeah. you think of Puff. You do. So many rumors are flying wild about this, it's almost ridiculous. The rumors are so out there, but is there any truth to it? Diddy and Kim did have a close friendship, and there's no doubt about it that Chloe was at a freak off. An old resurfaced clip has came back around where she says she didn't get home till 5.30 a.m. and that people weren't wearing anything at the party she went to, and it was Diddy's party. Well, this party, I think half the people there were Now, Chloe is my favorite Kardashian. So I'm just gonna play devil's advocate and say that just because she went to this party, she might not have known that anything sinister was going on. The rumors about Kim right now though are crazy. People are calling her a party girl, saying she took place in certain activities with Diddy, saying she knew what was going on, pretty much calling her a monster. So it's safe to say this isn't a very comfortable place to be in. The internet is already really hard on Kim and it seems like people just really love to look down on her. Kim Kardashian is linked to the Diddy lawsuit. Kim 24 hours before the raid unfollowed Diddy despite continuing to follow him even after the Cassie lawsuit was settled. So hopefully these rumors can be put to rest and she can go back to enjoying life. Kim hasn't actually had it easy and I find her to be a pretty tough chick. When she was only 24 years old, her father passed away. You didn't know my dad. It's like different, you know? Robert Kardashian was most known for representing OJ Simpson as his lawyer in the early 90s. Kim spoke about this because while her father was about to pass away, her stepmother was trying to prevent Kim and his other kids from seeing him one last time. Kim says that she and the rest of the family had to basically like force their way into the house to get a chance to give their father one last goodbye. It's a really sad situation. There was actually a time that I almost lost my father and I can't imagine how life would have been if it happened. Losing a parent at 24 years old is something that none of us want to experience and I would not wish that on anybody. Well, at Fashion Week in Paris, Kim was held against her will and they stole $10 million worth of jewelry. It was a group of unknown men. During this time, she experienced many things that she didn't deserve. They locked her up in the bathroom. They basically told her they were gonna take her life. They were armed as well. My door was open like this and then I saw two guys holding another guy down. And even after dealing with this situation, Kim had people making fun of her online. Some people were accusing her, saying that she did it as a PR stunt. It seems like when she is going through something hard, people always tear her down and make fun of her. In the year 2000, when Kim was only 19 years old, she and her then boyfriend Damon Thomas eloped in Vegas. Damon Thomas was a music producer and he was apparently not nice to Kim at all. Three years later, Kim filed for divorce, basically saying that he mistreated her so badly. Not that I have any issues with age gap relationships, but he was also like 10 years older than her, forcing her to change herself physically. It was just a bad situation for her to be in all around. She even admitted that on her wedding day, she was using things to alter her brain and completely out of it. And her father apparently didn't even speak to her because of this relationship. Thankfully, Kim did not stick it out with this guy because she might not even be here today. Definitely sounds like an unpleasant individual. Okay, so I wanna talk about the infamous tape. The tape that we all know about. This was definitely one of the worst things to happen to Kim Kardashian, but some people say that it's actually the best because it got her so recognized and it had everybody talking about her. Every 1.5 seconds, someone is watching that video. People online blamed Ray J, but he has always maintained the fact that he was innocent. The tape was leaked in 2007 and Ray J is adamant that Kim and Chris orchestrated its release. Now what actually happened? Well, a lot of people believe it was actually Kris Jenner that leaked the tape. So why would she do this? Because she knew that it would bring Kim the stardom she needed. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure, but it's an interesting theory to look into. Ray J went online and posted the supposed contract, which he claims is the original contract for the tapes. And on the contract, it shows that they actually filmed three different tapes, which each of them received $400,000 for. Two were filmed in Mexico, one was filmed in Santa Barbara. He then said that Kris Jenner watched all of the footage and made the decision about which was the best tape to release. Um, ew? I mean, if you go into rabbit holes about celebrities online, you'll see that 
The Kardashians have some weird habits. Sharing men is one of them. Being too comfortable on camera with them is another. A lot of people commented about this online. One person is speculating and said, I mean, Kris Jenner is trying to low key convince Chloe to take back Tristan. What kind of mother tries to convince their daughter to take back a man that mistreated Chloe so badly? I didn't know that. Another person said, I fully believe him. They played it off like this was leaked. It wasn't. Kim signed the dotted line. The devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder. I mean, the tape did kind of kickstart Kim's career. Kim does work seriously hard, but the tape really got her noticed. And Kris is Kim's manager. What do you guys think? I love Paris Hilton, but she was kind of a mean girl back in the day. She dissed Kim, she dissed Lindsay Lohan, and when her and Nicole Richie stopped being besties, she also dissed her. The thing with Paris is, she really knew how to get under people's skins, and she spoke freely online. Kim started out by working for Paris Hilton. She was Paris Hilton's wardrobe lady, and that got her some attention. So when she stopped working for Paris, Paris wasn't having it. Almost a decade later, Paris was online basically saying that she made Kim famous. She was saying a lot of things. I love Kim. She is amazing, a pop princess. She's just killing it and I'm so proud of her and I'm here. They had a very public beef online. Paris said that Kim's behind looked like cottage cheese stuffed in a garbage bag. Yikes. She did later apologize for this though. All friendships have up and downs. Seems like they're in a great place now. The divorce with Kanye must have been especially hard on Kim because just one month after the divorce, he got married to Bianca. People speculate that her marriage failing with Kanye was one of the worst things to happen to her, but I mean, if that was her person, she definitely would have ended up with him. She has in episodes of her show been open about how she misses the relationship, that she wishes it worked out, but also she recently said online that she's pretty much a single mom of four and she doesn't get much help from Kanye at all. She said that sometimes she feels alone in raising her kids even though she does have a great support system. I love Kanye, I love Kim. I think ultimately Kanye wasn't her person, but I do wish her the best in finding that. We all deserve to. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your host Jess and I hope you have a great day.